And, you know, here in New York, we have Gotham. We have many comedy clubs here. So I think Nick Caroline's, I think, you know, go back to LA after this, but, you know, New York, we've got some legendary comedy here too. Okay. Well, you know, if this all works out, I could go on tour. That's what I'm saying. Like, you know, <laughs> listen, I mean, that's, listen, once this is now, then people are going to be like, wait, there's the comedian Tiffany. Like, wait, oh, was she on Housewives in the past? That's what's going to uh, happen. That, that would be a dream if, if I was better known for my comedy than for being a housewife. Well, One listen, hope. it's your second show. Before we go, I don't know if you watch Orange County Housewives. I don't know if you're watching that. Have you ever seen Heather Dubrow's Closet? Like, do you have closet envy when you see Heather Dubrow's Closet? I, she has an amazing closet. I aspire to one day have such a closet with a champagne doorbell, like Mrs. Dubrow. How is your closet doing? Um, it's lonely right now. Cause I'm not in there, but, um, it's dead vaulted and being watched by security. So all my Birkins are, and Kelly's are just, you know, they, they have the week off. Between you and Heather. I mean, I've never seen two more clean, organized closets in my life. Like, let's just not even get into the size or all. It's just so organized your closet every time I see it. I mean, it's, I, I really want to meet this Heather person. I'm like, I I've never, so many people have talked to me about her and I'm like, I must meet her. We are either going to instantly become besties or hate each other. But I really feel that someone in the universe needs to get Heather and I together. Oh, let me add that to the list. I'm going to after oh, that like, to your to-do list. <sighs> I've just, I've just given you a whole long list of things to do today. See Tiffany's comedy show, start married to medicine, Dallas, contact Heather Dubrow, put her in touch with Tiffany. All right. Let me, I have three things to do. Is there anything else you want to talk about? I really appreciate your time. Thank you for being here. You know, sorry to ask you so many housewives questions. No, I, again, I'm so grateful that you're allowing me the opportunity to, you know, talk about some of my experiences and clear the air on some things. Um, I do need your address again, because I have new candle scents. So I promised my husband after 12 that I wouldn't make any more. And then I had 20 and now I have 24. So I'm just going to not promise anymore that I'm not going to make candle scents because I have four new ones. One is called Botox candle and it's for humans who need to relax. Um, one is oxytocin, which is the hormone that is released when you have an orgasm or when women are in birth. Um, but I did get in trouble because a fan thought that I posted a candle of Oxycontin, which is a highly addictive narcotic drug. So oxytocin, not oxycontin. And then I have a rosé champagne, which is fabulous. And then a 2022 Lunar New Year, Year of the Tiger candle. And I am donating all of the proceeds from that candle to support the AAPI community. I love it. Well, first of all, A, I will send you my address. B, I'm not just giving you lip service because you're here. That first batch of candles, like I was obsessed. Like I told everyone, like I am truly a candle person. You have no idea. And they're amazing. And three, you had me at Botox. Like that's all I need. I'm, I'm going Saturday for my little touch up. Like I am you know. all about, like, no, it's, this isn't like, I see problems here. <laughs> so you had me at Botox. So I mean, four new candles, like you will have my address as soon as this ends. Done. How is the wine going? Um, the wine is almost sold out. We debuted it in July and I wish I had made more barrels of 2018, you know, Cabernet Sauvignon because I cannot go back in time and do that. Um, but I have a few, uh, cases that are in my home, in our wine cellar that I am holding for private use because it sold like hotcakes. And I, um, I had to tell my manager to, to put sold out online oh because um, we only have a few cases left. I love it. Well, listen, having some of the best candles that I've ever had, where do you fall on the Karen Huger, Wendy Osefo? Karen likes three wicks. Wendy's candle is one wick. You know, now they're talking about maybe a five wick or a seven wick. Do you have a, I mean, do you have a, do you like to weigh in on this debate in Potomac? 
I would, I would. Um, scientifically speaking, a uh, one wick candle is better if it is triple scented as mine are because it uses less wax and gives you a longer burning time than a three wick candle. Um, I, just for fun, made a 13 wick candle the other day, which I shall debut soon. But I don't think that more wicks is better. But more importantly, you must trim your wicks because as a candle connoisseur, uh, my number one pet peeve is when people burn their candles with like an inch long wick and you can see the soot that is being emitted from the burning of the candle. And um, I always call it the um, rim of shame, that black rim around the candle. That means that your wick was not properly trimmed. So trim your wicks, people. Do you see how in this whole discussion that I just, my eyes just lit up and I paid attention more than I think anything else we've talked about? Like this was, that's very, I mean, it's true. I've had three wick candles. They, they, they burn so quickly. They are gone people, really. Yes, so I, I appreciate your one wick and the smell, your candles, the smell is intense in like a good way. Like the whole place. Yeah, my, up. my candles are triple scented with essential oils. So we don't use any artificial fragrance, um, which some candles, um, use. And also they do not contain any paraffin because actually when you, um, burn paraffin, it emits toxic chemicals into the environment. And then you breathe those in. So I could, I could probably go on for an hour about candles and why soy wax is better. And I have a cotton wick and this and that, and you're, you're, uh, listening would be all like, you know, I, I could go on and on about candles and why fragrance is important and why that links to your hypothalamus, which is our memory center, why that links to your amygdala, which is our emotional center. That's why smells trigger memory and emotion so deeply because your olfactory receptors are directly linked to your hippocampus and amygdala. Well, that's why people buy are your candles. Yet? No, that's why people buy your candles. And one day I want to see this, this 13 wick make its premiere. Let's just put that out there. It's but happening. They, it's thank happening. you for explaining that more wicks are not necessarily better. Correct. Where can everyone find you? I will share your, you know, where to buy tickets for Monday, but where yes. can everyone find you? Yes, my website is just tiffanymoonmd.com. And on there, you can click on the come see me at the Laugh Factory. Um, and I'm also doing another set in Palm Springs on January 26th. And you can click shop now, which will um, bring you to the candles, including the four new scents, um, one of which is the Lunar New Year Tiger Candle. With all the proceeds being donated, which is amazing. Yes. Tiffany, it's been a pleasure again. Hopefully you had as much fun as you did the first time. Yes, I love talking to you. You are such a good interviewer. Thank you. That means, you know, one day I was in law school. Actually, I'm all about reinventing oneself too, you know? We love an educated queen. We love, listen, there's nothing better than an educated queen, right? She's educated. She's educated. So I, you're educated too. I appreciate everything reach out anytime. You're such a pleasure and say hi to your husband and enjoy Italy. I will. Thank you so much, David. Anytime. Keep in touch. I will. Bye. Bye.